Alright, so I'm started on solar now and I've got the uh, Everest mini rails mounted. I'll show you how I did that. The Everest mini rails are installed. It's pretty simple. You just count the holes. You got five holes on each side. Line up, count your holes, and uh, you're good to go. for the ribs and uh, then I just uh, in CAD I just laid out the uh, length of the bracket and I laid the panels out from uh, where I wanted them to be and just laid them up here and then I just uh, arrayed nine inch lines and then I came back and put the uh, brackets between each where two panels meet together then I just figured out how many ribs would be between each bracket based on uh, the width of the panels and the panels are 39 and a half inches wide so the way it happened, um, first two were had two ribs, two ribs, then it went three, two, three, two, three, two, two. The way I did it, the way it worked out best was the fourth hole of each bracket is what I used, and that just that seems to center the bracket on the nine inch uh, ribs for this uh, style of panel. Uh, those holes are set up to um, accommodate different styles of uh, metal roof panels. I love these uh, cougar paws. They are fantastic for walking on a roof always so nervous about walking on the roof because of the dust what I have on just regular shoes that I it's hard for me to really do anything these these take all that away and uh, you, you can feel them pulling so I wouldn't have done this without these on this took me about three hours by myself and really it's a good thing about it you don't need but one person uh, it's kind of hard to chalk a line by yourself and uh, drop me a comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching